Hey everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing really well. So today I'm going to be trying out the organized bar method and yes, I'm not a mum. I know you might be thinking, what? <laughs> like, why are you trying this out? But basically, I am a wife and I have got a two bedroom apartment, alhamdulillah. Loving life here. I'm absolutely loving it. But I am getting a little bit fed up with spending a whole day on the weekend doing a deep clean. And I just, I know I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> There's something going wrong in my process. By the way, I cannot look at myself in the viewfinder and take myself seriously. Like, I used a new bronzer today and I just look like an absolute tuto. I know that the colour's been totally washed out in the camera. But you can see around here, like, I just look so orange. Anyway, I had a mask on for the whole day. I did at work today. Yeah, so I thought I'd come back and start as I mean to go on. I actually feel like I've got a decent amount of energy. So essentially, the organised mum method really appealed to me because she promises that if you spend 15 minutes doing level 1 jobs every day and half an hour doing the level 2 jobs on the weekdays, then on the weekends, you don't have to do a deep clean anymore. And that is exactly what I was looking for. I am going to be leaving all the links down below. She has free downloadable lists for you guys to use and to take advantage of. You can also buy her app and her book. I'm not investing in either of those until I've done this for two weeks and decided, you know what, this is worth my while. But it does, in theory, seem really, really good. So I've actually used my Mrs. Hinch book here to write down from her free downloadable list so what the steps are. So it is Monday today, and the first of all, 15 minute daily tasks are to sweep slash vacuum the main traffic areas, make the bed, give the bathroom a quick clean, and wash slash put away the dishes. So I am a little bit dubious about doing all that in 15 minutes but i am just going to put a timer on and see how far i can get on her list because she is a mum she had instead of the dishes one she had put on a, a load of laundry but i don't need to do that every day so i just adjusted it to what suited me we're going to do a really quick time lapse now i'm going to put a timer on i will say as well i did try to have quite a good organized slash clean of my place over the weekend but I've also got so much work on at the moment that I didn't do as much as I wanted to. So yeah, I feel like my place is starting off messier. Fingers crossed next week will be like in a much better place. But this video is going to be a mixture of a little bit of chatting and then time lapses. I don't want to do too much talking. And I'm just looking for a solution that hopefully works. Yeah, today is not the bedroom, so I'm not actually going to be like sorting out the sides and stuff. I'm just going to do the floor because you have to sweep and slash over the main areas and do the bed. Let's go. Step one, choose a good playlist. I do love listening to podcasts but because this is a 15 minute one. We are going to put on some Mariah Carey. <laughs> Okay, that's the first 15 minutes done. I'm actually shocked at how much I got done in 15 minutes. And do you know what? It's funny because as teachers, especially when you're teaching like younger year groups, you tend to put on timers for them, whether that's for table points or like an individual reward or just like a competition to see like who can get tired at the quickest. And like it always works. And there's something really adrenaline filled about putting on a timer and seeing how much you can do. So I'm actually like so impressed with myself and like listen my place has a long way to go I need to just continue to do this routine every single day to sort of maintain the tidiness but I'm really really happy with that. Today's job is actually the living room which is this room here and we have no lights working in there we have just a lamp working in there so we'll go around to get some light bulbs today so my first job is actually just try and get the lights working and then I'm gonna have a little breather and then we are gonna do that half an hour and see how much we can get done with that time. But so far, so good. Later. All right, so I've had my little break. Now I'm so proud of myself because I've just changed the light bulbs for myself and I know it's not a big deal to most people but I've never done that before. Like I've changed lamp light bulbs but you know those big ones have got the little step ladder out and everything. Now it comes to the actual level two job for today which is the living room. And this room is kind of one of our main traffic areas. When I come home from work, I come and chill in here. We've got our in here too. We love to watch stuff on our projector in here. We eat in here because we don't have a dining table. So this is a room we actually spend a lot of time in. And it does get really messy. And the whole point of level two is to like do a clean and a tidy up. To tidy away everything that doesn't belong. And 
it says to wash frozen and cushion covers, I've already done that, so to put those on and then give it the window a clean as well. So those are my first three things. I've got 30 minutes to do this. And now I've done that 15 minutes and I saw how much I got done. I actually think this is really, really doable. So I'm looking forward to it. Again, I'm gonna put you guys on a really quick time lapse and then just get moving. <laughs> So I would say that that took me about 35 minutes because I got the steam mop out as well. The only thing I haven't done is declutter or like clean around the ornaments, but that's actually for a Friday focus. Deeper cleaning like that is for a Friday, but I am so happy with like how it's looking. Everything is so sparkling clean. It's so freshened up. And you know what? I halfway through, I remember like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing my Fitbit. Why don't I put the exercise on? Because I don't care what anyone says. Tidying up the house is exercise. And I'm still in fat burn right now. This is, I put this on like halfway into this and I've burnt 117 calories in 23 minutes. Like that's crazy to me. That's literally like, you know, doing a proper full on workout. So my first day has been really, really successful. And you guys, this, this shook me. I don't want to put it too near my face because look how grim that is. Oh my gosh, just, I got this from B&M, it was like three pounds, the best three pounds I have spent on a cleaning tool. It's so, so good at actually like removing dirt, but this is like literally picking up the dirt from the mirror and it, or the window, and I did this on my balcony window, and oh my goodness, I was shook. Now what I've decided is that I'm not going to bother doing my level one filming montage thing every day. There's no point, you guys are going to get fed up with it. Um, and also doing these like time lapses like drains my camera's battery like crazy. But I will just check in every single day to let you know how the level 2 jobs are going. And yeah, day 1 was an absolute success. Hey everyone, so first of all, look how bright this room has become, it's our bedroom. Um, okay, I changed the light bulbs and two of them are just super bright and I love it because it's white light. It's not cool toned but it's also not like too yellow and we finally have a light in our lamp but how gorgeous is this lamp from home plugins and it's such a nice because it's got the gold in a rim it just like emits such a nice glow well, it is tuesday and today i had work um and i didn't sleep very well last night so when i came home i was like I'm gonna have a half an hour nap and then I'm going to do my half an hour and I had all the best intentions but unfortunately I ended up sleeping for an hour and a half and then we made dinner together we had like the sort of TikTok chicken wrap which was delicious but that did mean that I had more washing up to do so in my 15 minutes if you remember I've changed the laundry thing to washing up and um, that it confuses me a little bit because that's not included in the whole plan but obviously like I said it's very adjustable to what you guys want Tuesday which means it's a bedrooms day but I'm just gonna count our main bedroom as this day since Friday we're gonna focus on the beauty room. So Wakara's kindly already done the bed sheets and the first thing was to strip the beds and then the last thing uh, is to remake the beds. But he's already done the first and last thing which is great. So I'm gonna put a timer on and it says tidy over what doesn't belong, dust, a quick mind sweep under the beds and um, it does say to vacuum, but like I said, because I am sweeping daily, um, I'm only going to vacuum about three times a week and mop three times a week. There is quite a lot of things that don't belong, so I think that's the part that is going to take me a while. And on top of that, it's going to be laundry. That I think that's probably going to push my half an hour over the edge. So if, if that happens, that's fine. You know, I'm rested now. I've had my fuel and I have time because tomorrow I'm working from home. So I don't need to be up quite as early. I'm again going to just put you guys on a time lapse. There is a lot of laundry to put away. Because honestly, it did bring me so much joy yesterday, which is amazing. And because it is only one room per day, as well as like the obviously the level ones, it just feels so much more manageable, which is great. But I can see I've been talking for four minutes now. So <laughs> um, I'll just quickly show you the bed. How nice is this new bedding? I got this from Home Bargains and I've just asked Wakara to put this on and it's very nice. I mean, he, he did choose a blue sheet, but I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> and he's changed the bedding in the other room as well, which is great. So I'm going to start with, I think, the floor, as you can see. Socks, my giraffe, <laughs> my big blanket, which I think I'm actually going to try and put that in the wash today after the laundry so that I can have a nice wash. <laughs>
okay everyone and that is our tuesday clean done this is what we're left with i mean the bin should be in there <laughs> but so much better than before laundry has been put away which is great and the biggest job for me this week was giving these two a good declutter and a good clean and that took so long that i did have to go over the time that I had intended. So I spent probably about 40, 50 minutes on the room. Um, and I think next time, these two will obviously take a lot less time because once you've had that deep clean kind of thing, then they're way better. So again, please excuse my horrendous appearance, but I do feel like the first week is definitely gonna take longer. So if you're like me and you're a bit more cluttered, then don't be disheartened with the first week because obviously you're going through and you're like giving stuff proper, proper like proper tidy, proper clean. Um, and then the next week you're kind of picking up from where you left off. I already found that with the living room today, it just took literally two minutes to give it a quick tidy because it was so nice and, and clean and sparkling and, and clutter free from yesterday. So it was just such a pleasure to come home and just be able to relax in that room. Um, and then I know the bedroom's gonna be the same. So yeah, I'm looking forward to next week where hopefully the progress will be better. Sorry, it's, the camera's totally blowing me out and I'm too tired right now to figure this out. So what I'm gonna do is put my big gumbel in the wash. I know we're only two days in, but it's just making me feel so much less overwhelmed. You know, what they say is true. A decluttered home and living space equals a decluttered mind. And that's definitely the case for me, so. Yeah, and also the other thing is I have been putting my Fitbit on to today. It's been running for 50 minutes and um, I've been in fat burn. I'm still in fat burn now even though I'm stopping and talking to you guys and I've burnt 242 calories. So that's just an added bonus as well. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. And the good thing is about tomorrow is I'm at home. Hey guys, so it's Thursday now. I know I missed that day and I'm going to explain why. And as I'm doing that, I'm just going to put the clips of the kitchen cleaning going on. Basically, Monday and Tuesday I was at work, but I was also doing online learning, like planning, and I was also I've seen videos and I just got myself absolutely exhausted and yesterday I just had like the worst the worst cramps ever and they weren't even that time I just couldn't like bring myself to get moving too much what I had the option of doing was two things either making Thursday my kitchen day and rolling on or just doing the Wednesday and Thursday job together in one day and I just decided to do that instead so I'm gonna do like an hour and a bit of cleaning I've just washed the dishes and I'm absolutely soaked through. I'm currently wearing the most odd ensemble. Obviously, when I'm normally cleaning, I don't have a hijab on it. I don't have to, you know, kind of cover up and stuff. So, excuse the outfit. I don't have the headspace to think about what I'm wearing right now because as soon as I've done the kitchen and the hallway, I need to get back to editing pictures. But yeah, the hallway is not too, too bad. I just need to move the packages into my beauty room. And then I just need to give the place a hoover and a mop. And it's not too late in the evening for me to do that. Whereas usually... When I do my night cleans, I have to save the hoovering for the next day. But I'm just going to follow through the list. That is, as I said before, on her website. You can download it for free. So I'm going to be doing that. Let's just get started. And I'm, I'm going to put a timer on. So let's see how long it actually takes me. Okay guys, I'm very happy with that. Now I know we've still got dishes to wash, I'll do that tonight. And I know this bit here is all my cleaning stuff. It's looking a bit cluttered here, but I'm very happy with it because I know it's had a really, really good clean that it's needed to all week. Um, and now I'm gonna go on to the, uh, this is supposed to be Thursday, I switched to the top but the entrance hall. Um, so I'm gonna tidy everything away first, and then I'm gonna dust it down, and then I'm gonna vacuum and steam up the whole apartment. So. Yeah, well, first thing I need to do is move the ASOS. The, I saw it at first, the so H&M, I've been doing some lots of naughty shopping. Then I can put all the trainers where they belong. And yeah, here is kind of where we've got this nice little plant here. And then this is the stuff that needs to go in the car, slash the letters that still needs to be sorted out. We've got a reed diffuser there. And we tend to keep our gate key in there. So yeah, that's that. Not too bad. I mean, apart from obviously this is a bit chaotic. So this needs to all be cleared. But it does, the place does need a good steam mop and I, I'm really looking forward to doing that so 
and let's go for round two and put another timer on that by the way took about 38 minutes which I'm actually quite impressed with because I thought it would take a lot longer than that to do all those things on the list of the kitchen but it wasn't too bad again it's like when you set yourself a focus and stay focused you actually get so much done than you ever could imagine which is amazing so we have about 13 minutes left I've just hoovered everywhere and there seems to be some sort of blockage in our hoover so I have to keep taking that spout thing off so annoying I'm going to turn my steam mop on. I absolutely love this. This is a Russell Hobbit or a pub store and they got it from Amazon. And it's linked to my Amazon store down below if you're interested. But yeah, I absolutely love it. Like, I also do love my uh, spray mop. I like to use that sort of between steam mops, but at least once a week. A good deep steam mop is what really lifts out those germs and stuff. And yeah, helps everything out. So we've got 12 minutes. I just turned it on. Something that's really cool about the seam mop is it's got this blue thing here, which means you can actually use it on materials, rugs, carpets, you can steam clean your carpets. Now, I did recently steam mop that rug, so I'm not going to steam mop it today. I'm just going to move out of the way and make sure all the floors properly steam mopped. I am bright red. <laughs> but I remembered to put my Fitbit on like pretty much when I finished the kitchen. So I've had it on for 35 minutes now and I've burnt 166 calories, which is insane. Okay, these should have all been ticked off because everyone knows one of the most satisfying things about a to-do list is ticking it off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just ticking off the whole four days. And you know what? I don't feel bad at all that I couldn't do the kitchen on the Wednesday because... That's life. Sometimes things like that happen. This is my first week of teaching as well as online teaching, if that makes sense. I was in work and I was also providing online lessons. And now tomorrow, it's just obviously level one as usual. And then my first focus room is going to be my beauty room slash office room. Here we are on Friday, the final day of the Organised Mum Method. And today is like the specialised day. It is now night time as you probably can't tell from the blinds over there. So I am actually going to be working on my beauty room, which honestly needs some TLC. This is what we're working with. So we've got parcels and we've got my camera equipment. And then we've got these drawers that have just been left out. And I am doing a big declutter here. You might have seen on my channel already. I've done my foundation and powder declutter. I need to do my concealer declutter this weekend. But yeah. Having a nice tidy space here is just going to make the world of a difference and I would like to sometimes use this area as an office space as well. So yeah, I'm just going to pop on my hijab and then put on a timer and see what I can get done in 30 minutes. And I will just grab my notebook as well because I find it really helpful to be able to tick things off as I go along. So yeah, be right back. Okay, I just did a very, very quick face of makeup. Could not be bothered with eyeliner and mascara. But we move. Now what I've noticed is that this is the first day in this week that I read my own list up and it doesn't make sense. Like I'd actually put originally to declutter cut concealers in the half an hour slot. Like no. So I'm going to scribble that out. I mean obviously her list like you don't have to follow it in the order that she gives it but it does make sense too. So I'm going to have to like number these now and I'm just going to start with put away what doesn't belong. I do want to have a quick chat about this whole process towards the end of this video and as I'm talking right now you'll probably be able to see me getting started with this because I wasn't sure like how I wanted to film it, I didn't want it to be crazy long. Okay 30 minutes is up and I didn't get as much done as I'd hoped, I did not get any decluttering done but I did clear away a lot of stuff I shouldn't have been here like clean laundry, I used this radiator in here like for my laundry and I gave this dressing table a nice wipe down, I put things away kind of where they need to go but again that deep declutter does need to happen um, and then on the bed it's just stuff I need to unbox and yeah decide if I'm keeping or not especially with ASOS like I brought four pairs of trainers and I'm not obviously going to keep all of them so I need to decide that like this weekend ideally and my drawers are not too bad like we, me and my sister will organise them back in October when we moved here so they're pretty alright really obviously the floor does need a proper hoover and I did use this carpet cleaner thing because I knew that choosing a like cream rug to hide this ugly carpet um, would be a bit of a hassle but you know what, it's actually done quite a good job. I just spilled some eyeliner and lipstick there, which is gonna happen if I'm doing my makeup here all the time and filming here. But yeah, this is definitely a clearer space to film in now. So I'm just gonna pop on the light so you guys can see me a bit better, and then let's have a chat. Okay, so this lighting has got me looking like a ghost. But anyway, this is the end of my first ever experience of the Organise My Method. 
and I have to say I feel like it's actually changed my life and I know that sounds so dramatic or it might sound crazy dramatic to a lot of you but as somebody who has just been feeling so overwhelmed with like running a household whilst also working a part-time job and then also like trying to hustle my photography business and upload consistently on YouTube and stay somewhat present on Instagram and keep up with my salars and <laughs> cook and you know all of the rest of it I was just feeling really overwhelmed and alhamdulillah I'm not complaining like those are not horrible things to have at all they're all blessings they're all things that I've been praying for for a long time so I'm very grateful to have them but I, I just knew there has to be a method out there that would make my life a little bit easier and I'm so grateful to the two followers I have who actually introduced me to this method I cannot thank you guys enough because you have opened my eyes to a method that let me just explain why I love it so much honestly you guys it just it gives you a peace of mind because you have this list in front of you that you know right every single day from Monday to Friday I'm gonna get up I'm gonna do these things in 15 minutes you just put a timer on and there is something about having a timer on is that we just respond better to a timer and it works as adults as well absolutely does work for me so that general maintaining the tidiness like making sure the areas are swept making sure the bed is made that's great now what i will say and my mum also agreed with me was that in her day-to-day -day list um part of it was giving the bathroom a quick tidy but we both agreed that that we didn't feel like there was enough time to really maintain the bathroom within that 15 minutes especially because i've included the washing the dishes and putting the dishes away and I kind of feel like the kitchen is a little bit ignored as well in the system because I feel like you're doing a lot more work in the kitchen anyway so I am going to be adding in probably either two more 10 minute cleans in the week or one 20 minute clean in the week for the bathroom but that's the thing about this method like it, you don't have to stick to it completely something that I've also changed up as you might know is that on the Friday she's got an eight week cycle going so each week if you follow along with her she does a different room or different Set of rooms like the kids bedroom for example but obviously like my circumstances are different one of the Fridays is a garden we don't have a garden and then with the kitchen I just think that just takes a bit of extra time anyway especially if you've been cooking you know more than one meal a day in the kitchen that day it's gonna take more time that's what works, works for me personally for my lifestyle and you know you might have to change it based on your lifestyle as well but apart from that just having this consistency and just knowing that Monday is living room day, Tuesday is bedroom day, and then also this lab, the level one jobs, I can't explain how much happier I've been this week because I felt like just with half an hour to 45 minutes, just with that short amount of time a day, I actually managed to get so much more done than what I would do before when I would go to tidy up and I'd just look around and feel so overwhelmed and I not know where to start. And to be honest, the beauty room has been a total mess for like a good three weeks now. And I've always been like, well, when I have time, I'll get around to it. But the good thing about this method is that you, you make the time every day, but only for one room. So there's no way you can really get overwhelmed. And that's what I love about it because then eventually, like by the end of the week, end of the working week, the whole place is looking so much tidier. And well, Kyra is really happy. That's my husband. If you're new to my channel, he's really happy. He's like, at, like whatever you're doing, this is working great, and he's been helping me as well. So he has also been getting on board, and he's really happy that I found a system that works for me. So this is already quite long, and I, I, I was saying I didn't want this to be a long video, but if you are anything like I was, and you're feeling quite overwhelmed with keeping on top of a method to keep everything tidy and clean I 100% re recommend you do this it is so manageable and it's so fantastic to feel like like I'm only on week one and I feel like my place looks amazing obviously we can't have guests around anywhere right now but if anyone wants to pop in I'd feel fine like usually I'm like that's my husband as I was saying I just needed a structure like this so I'm so grateful to the actual organizer when we started this she is amazing and she just has made things so much easier like having a checklist for me helps so much having a timer helps so much playing some uplifting like music helps so much and i actually have been looking forward to the half an hours on the daily like i've i've not been dreading it i've not been thinking oh my gosh i've got to clean now i've got to tidy up and that's how i used to feel because it'd be so overwhelming what i will say as well is that this is only week one and because it's a first time that we're properly doing this method I feel like each time did maybe take a bit longer than it, sh it will next time like for example on the Tuesday when we did the bedrooms my, our side table like our bedside table things they needed a good 
clean like a proper good scrubbing clean as you guys saw in the video so that took ages whereas next tuesday that's gonna take like 30 seconds just to move everything off spray it down and then put everything back so i think it, the the process of 30 minutes it will probably get a bit shorter as time goes on and as overall the place becomes really organized but yeah i'm absolutely over the moon with this by the time you're watching this i would have done two rounds of it and i probably will write down below like how my second week went i really hope you guys found this video helpful and i hope you're inspired to try it too and if you did then give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one take care guys bye